Hi guys, EJ here, back to do another update uh, today for July 19th, um, 2011. Just got home from seeing Harry Potter. Um, I won't give you my thoughts. If you want to know, let if you want to know what I thought, let me know. Um, but I've got eight new DVDs to show you. Uh, one of my genre updates. Um, three are movies, and five are animated TV and pretty obvious why uh, once I get into it so um, first film is uh, Hancock from uh, 2008 um, sort of uh, putting a superhero in a realistic modern environment um, Will Smith as the reluctant hero uh, alongside Charlize Theron and uh, Jason Bateman, um, alright, not great, I enjoyed it, I thought some of the action was pretty cool, but uh, not very, uh, very memorable in the end. So up next we have uh, Hellboy animated uh, Sword of Storms, and I've never seen this, but uh, I've wanted to get uh, like animated uh, films or whatever. Uh, to go along with the other superhero movies and other animated uh, superhero stuff that I already have and uh, this looked interesting to me uh, especially since it features the voices of uh, the film actors Ron Perlman, uh, Selma Blair and uh, Doug Doug Jones who plays uh, Abe Sapien in the, uh, in the films. I love uh, the second one, I think it's the best out of the two movies I don't know if we'll ever get a Hellboy 3, but uh, where it was heading seemed like a really interesting idea. Um, so looking forward to watching this, I've never seen it. And along with that, I also picked up Hellboy uh, Blood and Iron. Um, again, hope the animation is cool, as long as the voice characters are uh, pretty much in line with uh, what's in the movies. I should enjoy these. Um, but I really don't know anything about them. Also, uh, I picked up Spider-Man vs. Uh, Doc Ock. I already had the uh, three-disc Ultimate Villain Showdown of the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s. Uh, it has has like, Green Goblin and um, Daredevil. And uh, I always wanted to pick this up as well. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed those. Um, so I haven't seen these, and along with that, I also picked up uh, Spider-Man: The Venom Saga. Uh, again, in line with uh, already seeing the uh, the 3D's box set, I'm looking forward to watching this along with uh, Doctor Octopus. Uh, hopefully, Venom is portrayed a lot more interestingly than uh, he was in. Uh, Spider-Man 3, which was, I think most people can agree, the least least impressive of the three Spider-Man films. Um, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Up next we have uh, The Spirit um, from uh, 2008. Now, uh, of course, when the previews for this came out, thought awesome, looked just like Sin City, of course, written and directed by Frank Miller. Um, great cast, great, uh, Gabriel Mott, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Scarlett Johansson, and uh, Eva Mendes. Looked interesting, same sort of style as Sin City, but very disappointing. Borderline terrible, but uh, eh. it was crap, but I enjoyed it. What am I going to say? It's, it was cool in parts, but overall it was really disappointing, I thought. Okay, up next we have uh, Watchmen uh, Tales of the Black Freighter. Now I have seen this. I don't know how, how it really relates to Watchmen because story, a uh, very quick short story of a, of a guy who gets uh, shipwrecked after his uh, boat is attacked by this Black Freighter. Um, he gets shipwrecked on an island and he builds a raft out of all the dismembered bodies of his crew. It's very dark, very grisly. Um, 
quite interesting, good animation, and he tries to find his way back to his wife and kids. And um, again, I don't know how it relates to Watchmen. This is part of the, uh, the graphic novel. Also has um, a feature called Under the Hood, which I watched um, last night because I got this uh, yesterday and other stuff came today. I like to do all these together. So I watched that um, sort of interesting mockumentary of uh, the Watchmen and the, uh, the idea of superheroes and, and the way Watchmen portrayed it, which is a film I loved. Next to uh, The Dark Knight, I think it's the best uh, superhero film, Watchmen, and because uh, I, I just adored the movie. Yeah, so I wanted to pick this up to go along with that. And uh, last but not least, we have uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, from 2009. Um, directed by Gavin Hood and of course starring Hugh Jackman and Liev Schreiber, uh, Ryan Reynolds, Danny Houston. Um, to be honest, I think this is the weakest of all uh, now five X-Men films. I really, really didn't see the point of it, especially coming after the third X-Men film. I guess people love Hugh Jackman and Wolverine uh, that much, but looking back on it now, it just really didn't make a lot of sense to me that they even made this. Uh, some good action scenes, I'll give it that, and uh, Hugh Jackman's, uh, I loved his cameo in X-Men, uh, First class, that was hilarious, but this really delves deep into his origins, obviously. Um, yeah, some good action scenes. They don't really do much with uh, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds' character. And by that time, I was just kind of burned out on X Men after the three films. Um, so, yeah, I think it's the weakest of the five, um, but as a completist, for the X-Men films, how to get this uh, to round out my superhero collection. So there you have it, eight DVDs, um, three movies, five uh, animated series or episodes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let me know what you think, if you've seen any of these, especially uh, the animated stuff. If you've seen the Hellboy animated, I'd really be interested to hear what those are like, because I've never seen them. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you.